that first question. Let's get this class open. Who's going to be the brave soul that's going to leap empty handed into the open void? Who's got... Sir, this is Mary speaking. How are you? I have a question about the modern eye book. Um, 211. Oh, no, 213. It says, so past, present, and future is the same. The equal position. So my question is, um, everything that happened in the past, present, and future, is it all happening right now? Yes. Simultaneous. And is, is that why it's easy for people when they go to rest at night, they can they can say I had a vision of the future because it's already happening now as we speak it, it just hasn't happened on this physical realm yet for us to see it here? Yes. See, everything with the Creator is predestination. When you're looking at the thing from the top down, but from the bottom up, it has a timeline to it. A linear timeline that we describe as past, present, and future, where events seem to be progressively moving forward. Are you following me? When in reality, true time is right now. There is no past or future. Because all today is a continuation of yesterday, and tomorrow is a continuation of the day. An example is, is that the day is Sunday, and tomorrow is Monday. When tomorrow gets here, will you call it tomorrow when you wake up? No. You'll call it today, right? Yeah. Because yeah. every time tomorrow comes, it's still today. See, there is no such thing as you and me here and there, now and then. Are you following me? Even phonetically, when they when they say it's over there, when you take the T off there, what does it spell? Here. Yeah. Okay, where? That's another place. Take the W off where? Here. Yeah. And if you supposedly die, you only go to the hereafter. Okay. Everything is here and now. Are you following me? I'll give you a better way to look at it. Okay. Let's look at an old time clock on your grandmother's wall. You see how the hand keeps, the minute hand, the hour hand, the second hand keeps going around, time is going around? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you recognize that all the hands are anchored on a central axis, on a center pin. I, am I right? Mm -hmm. So, is time moving in a linear line from back to forward, or is it simply going around and around in the same place, spinning in a circle, not actually moving backward or forward? Um. You're not equating a clock to actual time, I know. I'm trying to get you to see that so I can show, take you deeper, okay? If you equate the hands on the clock to time, going around in a circle, then if you start looking at the environment of what you call the universe, which actually means un, one, and versus means against, like on versus Ali, or against the oneness, which everything is singular, including time, you see that there's a, a formula that, that the scripture uh, describes as as above, so below. Are you familiar with that? Sure. Okay. So when we're talking about as above, so below, when you look at the galactic center that you know that the universe revolves around on a vortex, black hole, or center, and then when you break it down even into a galaxy, and better yet, a closer proximity, is this solar system that has the sun in the center, then Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mount Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Now all these planets, they revolve around that central sun. You see that? Like a giant cosmic celestial clock. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the atom beneath you has electrons circling around a quark, a centered quark as a vortex, as miniature planetoids, reminiscent of a solar system, just like the hands revolving around the, the clock. So, in other words, are the planets actually traveling in a linear line, or are they just going around and around in a circle? It's going around in a circle. Exactly. But, it takes the Earth how long to ro revolve around the sun? How many days? And remember, you measure or calibrate time by its revolution on its axis, right? In regards to the sun, whether it's facing it as 12 hours day of, or facing away as 12 hours shadow time or night. That's how you calibrate your time down into hours, minutes, and seconds. Is that not right? Still going around in circles like the hands on a clock, feel me? 365 days. So in actuality, if the Earth is creating the illusion of going from the past to the future in a linear line, like uh, moving forward, like after 360 years from this point, you, it would appear that we're a year ahead straight down the line, right, from where we are now. Mm -hmm. But we're not in reality, because you see the planet is not going in a straight line, it's going around and around, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's also spinning on its axis as well, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now the effect of it spinning on this axis is this. You have it facing the sun 12 hours in a 24-hour day, right? Mm -hmm. And you call that daytime, right? Mm -hmm. 
they time. And then when the other, the reverse end of the planet is, is facing the sun and the side that you're on is facing away from the sun, you call that darkness or night time, which is actually shallow time, right? So it creates the illusion that in the morning the sun is rising and at night it sets, right? So that you would have 12 hours a day and 12 hours a night. But the sun is not actually rising and setting. The earth is, is on its axis and it's actually spinning in a circle, right? So is time passing, yes or no, or is the earth just spinning in a circle and you're using the calibrations of celestial mechanics by having 12 hours facing the sun as light and 12 hours facing the way of shadow hour as that marking time, but in reality it's just spinning in a circle. Are you beginning to see it? Sure. But, so, yeah, but I'm just, I guess I'm thinking when I was, I was listening to the tape that you had sent me and you was telling the brothers that had got the third, second, and first degree burn, you told him, well, we're going to need to go and travel back 30 minutes before the accident. So exactly. In my mind, I wanted to know how that, I don't know how you and him did that, how that was done. All right, done. let me explain it to you. That was because my oversoul was aware of the fact that he believed in illusion of time, all right? So in order to get him to follow my directions, I have to use certain terms. Just like when I'm speaking to Christians and I speak about the Creator, I use the word God, not because I think that's his real name, but I think that that's what they equate the Creator to. Now, to answer your question about when I said I'm going to take him back a half an hour, I want to take your mind away from the cosmos and move it to a TV and a DVD player. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Let's put a movie in the DVD player, right? And then when we start the movie on the DVD player, that's the beginning of it, right? Mm -hmm. And if we wait four hours, if it's a four hour movie, when we get to the, to, after it's finished, we get to the end, right? Mm -hmm. So how long was the movie? Or how much time passed? It is four hours. Yeah, so it's four hours long, right? So is that a linear measurement, like from, from backwards moving forward? Or was the DVD circling around and around on a central axis or vortex like the hands on a clock or the planets around the sun or the electrons around the quark? See, in reality, when I took Henry back, it was the same as if when we got to the end of the movie, I wanted to go back to the middle of the movie, so I simply rewind the, the, the DVD and I went to the middle of the movie, right? Which is how the masters use a vortex rotating clockwise or counterclockwise in order to take you backward or forward in time. An astonishing video has emerged of a possible wormhole or portal appearing over Oaxaca, Mexico. The footage shows the mysterious phenomena spiraling over the mountaintops before forming into a possible wormhole or stargate. According to reports from the area, it was not a rocket or missile failure. Local officials are also mystified as to what the phenomena could be. Locals have speculated that the spiral was caused by extraterrestrials, a possible gateway into another dimension. Reflect on the biblical account of Jesus standing between Moses and Elijah on a hill, all three men of youth and vigor, yet thousands of years apart, historically, in time. Okay, but let me ask you, when we go back, so we would call the beginning, the past, the end, the future, and the middle, the present, right? Mm -hmm. But in reality, it's on one disc, and like the solar system, the DVD is just spinning around and around on a circle on a, on a, on a central pin, right? Mm -hmm. Is it actually moving forward and backwards or backwards and forward? Or just spinning around and around in a circle? Just like time. Have you ever heard the saying, what goes around comes around? in time? It gives us the illusion that time is passing in a straight line from the past to the future, doesn't it? Sure. But it's not. See, this is what I'm trying to say about existence. The only thing real is divine love. Everything else is merely illusion. This is merely illusion. How be it, a very 
to a persistent one. Are you following me? Sure. Your mind is powerful. This is only a dream that you're kicking around in your head. A phantasmagoria. Are you following me? As the master says, you're the center of existence and all things are equal distance to you. In order for that to be true, all things have to be in the same place right here and right now and the same time.